for ochtend. Say we are this morning. Stoop. Of a text. Stoop, it likes it. See, you're talking about a Yeah. I can feel Tuesdays because they're better than Mondays. Mm, mm. Nee, raar ek waar. Nee, nee daar is iets anders terwijl het dinsdag is. So as of die, as of die week het but, krijg een moment. That whole psychological thing that Monday is finished. Yeah. So basically, um, once Monday is finished, it's downhill to the weekend, mm. isn't it? Dit is so, dit is so. Mm. Maar dan is nog steeds as of daar een groot verwachting voorlef vir die week. Ja. Yeah. Maar uh, dinsdag het nou een van my favorite uitsendingsdagen word. Conservation Tuesday. Right. En dan natuurlijk sien ek altyd uit na vrijdag. Mine Kosmo. will be Wednesdays. Ja, from wel, tomorrow on. Wel, want um, daar is ook een rede daarvoor. Yes. Want woensdag is nou vanaf gaan ons uh, baie meer motorsake praat. Kijk, uh, yes. Kos wees gegeven vir die mens hier. Ja, let's show you this. Hier die Infostream Namibia takes you on a whole new journey by car, motorcycle or lorry. A journey of intrigue ideas from A to B or even C and D. Motoring on Infostream Namibia, a whole new world, a whole new journey. Keep your motor running, head on down the highway. Infostream Namibia Motoring, everything you need to know about Namibia's motoring industry. That's going to be so cool. So, and then, Papa. And we're all clear. We're all clear. You'll be sure to make it. You'll be sure to make it. Because this is our first Wednesday. Yeah. Um, Motor Infostream uh, Motoring Wednesday. We're all clear. A few bijdrages. We're going to be very forward. Thank you for all the advertisements. We're going to be very forward. We're going to be very forward. We're going to be very forward. Kavi, how was your aunt? My evening was fantastic. I had a braai with Zeli, mm -hmm. and it was really a lot of fun. And tonight it's going to be prawns. Okay, good, good. Seafood. Ja, nee, ek dink ek sal vanavond, um, mm -hmm. ek is nog nie seker wat het gaan wees nie, maar sal jy waarschijnlijk, ek sal liever sal vanavond braai. En want ek moet oefen vanmorgen aan. For tomorrow's <laughs> braai. Woensdag, ja, woensdag. Okay. Woensdag was, en dan moet ons weer recht maak, donderdag aan vir vrijdag. Ja. Kijk, as die ening wat jylle Suid-Afrikaners wat vir ons kyk moet verstaan, en nou my bees nie lekker in die koppie, maar ons braai elke dag, ons braai elke aand. In Suid-Afrika is ons moest net een saterdag dit. Oh, really? Ja, ek dink so. Ek, as ek recht kan onthou, maar hier in die my bees, uh, enige verskoning, so dat jy vanavond, vanavond kan braai. So ons gaan definitief vanavond weer braai, maar jylle kan sal ook selfs. <laughs> Morgen Suid-Afrika, as jylle al kracht het, ja. uh, want ek sien allerhande plannen word gemaakt, so dat die ons meer kracht het. Hulle moet beer kracht, my beer dat jy kracht het, jy weet wat ek al. Peet is nog al op die stream van ochtend uit Broekfontein. Goeiemorgen Peet. Goeiemorgen Peet. Hy sê, is goed om ons te sien, Peet. Die saan sê, goeiemorgen jylle twee, op hierdie heerlijke somersdag, is nog al nek. Ek somer is hier so, Joep Nel, is ook hier so. Morgen Joep, morgen Joep. Hallo Joepa. Dit is tyd. Ek hoop Joep het gesien, ons is bezig met hy plannen vir hy speciale braaidag. Ek dink ons het daar ook een plek al soort van gekry wat een moendlikheid is. En hy maas al vrijdag praat ons weer oor ons speciale braaidag. Het gaan chaos wees. Het gaan die eerste braaidag wees van chaos. Niks, jy mag niks traditioneel gebruik nie om kost te maak. Geen roosters, geen braaitange nie. Jy moet jou eie plannen maak. Ek wonder, kan die mens op een radiator draai? Nee, wacht so'n bykie. Nou sê die, nou dat die brandstof afgegaan het, kan jy die elke volvat, dan sit jy die vis op, sit jy hem op jou kaarse manifold, dan maak jy hem gaar terwyl jy het opdrink. Ok. So dit gaan een interessante, maar ons wacht vir november, dat ek hier die oktober maand net verby is, met al die oktober feeste, wat al reeds die naweek begin het. So jy moet begin plannen maak, Joep het gesê, hy is in. Hy is in, ek sê, as ons as ons net mooi dink is, dan is Peet Spies ook hier so, van al die pad van die vrije staat af. Gepraat van braai. Mietko, Mietko is in die warm water. Waai? Daar is onderzoek, daar is die beestproducenten wil weet of Mietko die type kindigheid het en wat nodig is vir die internationale mededingendheid. Hulle is hulle bevraagteken of Mietko sy bestuur kindig genoeg is. In terms of what now? Alles die bestuur. In terms of being able to supply export demand. Mietko het as groep in 2021-2022 boekjaar sy grootste verlies ooit verklaar, namelijk 206 
uh, 1.29 miljoen rand. Dit is, dit is meer als enige van die vijf jaren voordat. Nou vraag, nou, nou sê die boere, en uh, Zenzi, boer, uh, my het motie ingedien, ek sê, by die speciale vergadering groep, okay. um, en hy het gesê, luister hier so, um, uh, hulle gee Mietko vier maanden, om, om te bewys dat hulle wel Mietko as een bedrijf, en uit die aard van die saak om um, uh, internationaal te kan beding, en te kan onderhandel, namens die boere van Namibie, het hulle die kindigheid, het hulle die vaardigheid, en gegewe die verschrikkelijke verliezen vir huis. So die boer het gesê, wow. kom ons van die ding hof toe, Mietko, jy het vier maanden, um, in die afgelopen vijf jaar gaan dinge achteruit, gaan achteruit, niks word beter nie, ons is boere, lees kare, sê jylle vir ons, hoe kom ek jylle aangaan? So dis waar hulle nou is. So here, here it comes, something that I've been noticing, Dirk, I see private enterprise, currently, in yeah. terms of meat supply, on a, on a, on a boom, Ja, verseker, uh, we, verseker. We, we, we've traveled to Okanda ja, recently. Ja, en ons het het gesien. And we've seen, we're not ja. going to mention the names now, <coughs> ja. but there are private industries currently that are booming in terms of meat supply. Ja, ons gaan het oor wat Zenzi, die, die boer wat nou die vergadering um, soort van saamgeroep het, maar hy is ook een paar like my as die right. sp sp spreekspersoon gekies. I'm not too sure, is Meatco a parastatal? Um, ek dink amper het kan wees. I'm not ek sure. Is, For those of you who might know, Please let us know what type of organization is Meatco. Is it a parastatal, let's say, like Transnamib in Namibia? Um, ek, ek ons vind dit maar... It will be interesting to see. Hy sê, in, in die, die motie van wantrouw, het hy ook daarop aangeduid, en aangedring dat Meatco die geld wat hulle by die ontwikkelingsbank right. van Namibia geleen het, om uh, bankrotskap af te weer, moet hulle terugbetaal. Dit beloop 530 miljoen koffie het wow. hulle geleen. Nou, wow. nou, jy om, hier is dalke antwoord, yeah. um, hulle sê dat, um, dat 200 miljoen is dier die uh, ontwikkelingsbank van Namibie as een reddingsboei gegeen. Oké. Okay. En uh, hulle het net daarop aangedring dat die rente daarop betaal moet word. So dit lyk toch vir my asof daar, um, jy weet, die een belange en die andere ene. Maar kost kyk wat daar gebeur, dit is maar net, ek dink is tyd dat, dat die boere uh, rarig waar saamstaan, en bevraag teken die volhoudbaarheid van, van Mietko. Because I saw another article, I just yep. can't find it at this particular point in time, where there is, um, the company is called the Northern Communal Areas, they, they, they refer to it as the NCA, yeah. which is a sister company of Mietko, yeah. that is also battling in terms of, um, and I'll find it here somewhere now, now uh, uh, battling in terms of getting the the uh, what do you call it slaughter numbers up mm. in the communal areas yeah and yep. that apparently the abattoir that is uh, up there in the communal area i think towards rundu yeah, yeah. Um, it is somewhere in the newspapers is also not uh, according to standard okay. in other words okay. this bow falla yeah. like that yeah but that can be um there is no article uh, wat gaan oor, oor corruptie en uh, die hoofdberichte sê maar net corruptie takel basiese dienste geleidelik af. Nou, ons het so baie gepraat oor die toestand van ons hospitale. Ons het gepraat uh, oor die toestand van ons skole. Wel, daar is nou in die afgelopen tijd baie geskryf oor die toestand van politiehering. Oké. Okay. Um, in sommige gevallen uh, was daar, was daar, mens het lof uitgesprek en gesê dat politie is bezig om bykie dinge vast te vat, maar die lange en die koor daarvan is dat die totale corruptie is bezig om al die belangrike dienste geleidelik af te takel, totdat daar niks meer oor is nie. Daar is een ou gezegde wat sê, as jou onderwijs en jou gezondheidsdienste, ja. um, en dan skole, enige school, enige um, kons, kons het universiteit onder onderwijs, onderwijs, gezondheid en politiering. Okay. As daai drie bene afgetakel is, en dit bestaan nie meer nie, gaan die land in die stort. Dink bykie mooi daar Onderwijs. Right, education. Ja. Uh, gezondheidsdienste. Health. En, en politiering. Met andere woorde, wet en orde. Ja. Dan is een land um, op zijn einde. Dan stort hij in die. So, we've spoken about the education system in Namibia. Ja. Which is much to be desired mm. for. Mm. Um, we've noted that school children are attending school just because they get one meal a day. Net vir een, net vir hy een, so daar bykie kost vir die akkerdag. And they walk in, between in 10 and 12 kilometers a day just to go to school. Ja, en, en baie van hulle, omdat hulle so ver wegblijf van die skole af, vooral 
in die noorden van ons land, yes. um, slaap hulle dan in die klaskamers vir die aand. Ja. So. And then also our state hospitals that yeah. are in shambles. Yeah. I mean, here in Windhoek, we've got so many my, mice and cockroaches. But I can't lock it all now. Ja, en die is zeker. Moet je pitie trap van ja, dan denk. Zeker. Oké, okay, zo so, ja. Ge, gepraat van gepraat van kakkerlakke in name. Wat denk jullie van die fantastische nieuws op die voorblad dat petrolprijs met 1 dollar per liter gedaald het? Right, this is just to make us feel better because the price is going to increase just before December, December. where everybody is going to no. go on, yeah. on holiday again. We've Ma seen this over the last 15 yeah. years. Maar kom eens, kom eens, hoor graag een beetje jullie commentaren. No, maar man. diesel Diesel onveranderd. Yes. Nou, wat nou verduidelik hierdie vir my nou. Ek dink, ek dink al die boere gaan nou jaag, en industrie gaan nou jaag, en hy diesel engines uitdruk, en petrol engines aandruk. Verduidelik, Bico, kom praat saam, kom sê vir ons, wat denk julle, hier right. staan een ouwe hier so op die voorblad, hulle sê hy glimlach breed, mm -hmm. want petrol aangedrewe voertuig kan uitsien na 1 dollar per liter um, minder. Right. Oké, okay, maar ik denk, weet je wie die ook glimlach over zijn kwaad nie? Je weet, het kan niet enig iets wees. Maar stier voor ons, wat denk jullie daarvan? Dit is nou bij voorblad van vandaag zijn koran. And then I found it, it is on the front page of the Namibian Daily, here on the mm. side. This is the whole Meat Co story regarding the NCA, Northern Communal Areas, that we just spoke about. And saying that uh, in the year 20, from the year 2021 to 2022, and please remember, these are the areas north of the communal line, the yeah. red line, the veterinarian yeah. line, um, that they only slaughtered 2,348 uh, 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 cattle okay. in that period, okay. which is nothing. They're looking more in terms of capacities of 10,000 yeah. no, no, um, and, and even more, so there we go. Then just a chuckle in cheek, if you like, also on the front of the, uh, the Allgemeine <laughs> Zeitung. <laughs> this is um, 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 a glimlach for the day. Yes, so the Allgemeine Zeitung is reporting today, Tuesday, the 4th of October, that there is a gentleman, and his name is David Mesnard, and he's a... He's been in Namibia for quite some time. He's an enthusiastic, what do you call those? Microlight. Microlight. Pilot. Owner. Pilot. Owner and flyer. Uh, yeah, pilot and owner, yeah. And, uh, yeah, he, he is, uh, footage was taken by tourists um, in, in Namibia where he had to make an emergency landing on one of the gravel roads. Yeah. And obviously this thing came out on social media and it seems as if he was accused uh, in, in, in chasing wildlife, <laughs> particularly giraffes. <laughs> and he just wanted to, 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 to get it all right, to, to get it all, uh, what you, wanted to address it, if you like. Yes, sy leven spaar, nou word hy een jachter, onwettige jachter van wild. Yeah, oh, he's okay. from the business Divine and Wildlife Expeditions in Swakopmund, oh. and he wanted to fly from Solitaire all the way to Blutkopi, yeah. which is in the Namib Desert, and then um, just shortly after takeoff, he realized that his engine started stuttering, and, and then and he had to begin. land. And yeah. it was, what do you call it, a block of fuel? Yeah, a yeah. yeah. so, so, block of so, and, and don't, petrol line. Don't go out there and accuse Mr. Uh, David Mesnard of things. He was yeah. just saving his own life. <laughs> yeah, all what he will do is he will not land as a bleed. <laughs> and as you need to rest in your yard. Well, good. Um, and then for verbruikers, like me, the owners, Dogma, erg up for um, all his olies, fruit, and bread. The voedsel inflation for olie and fat is up a race 25.7%. Uh, tussen april en juni van het jaar gestaan, uh, of ten tot stand gekomen. In vergelijking met, uh, ik denk, verleden jaar zijn inflatiekoers was 12,6 voor diezelfde tijd van het jaar. Ja. Zo so, um, redelijke, redelijke hoge percentage daar. Um, ja, die andere goed is, is bij algemeen. Ik denk jij het nog gepraat I've, I've van got, Tourism Tuesday. Ja, yeah, we've got Tourism we've Tuesday. Nog, we've nog got nog een But here just uh, uh, on the trend while we are busy with the newspapers this morning. Something obviously that just gets me so angry. The uh, Allgemeine Zeitung is reporting that um, rape cases in Namibia are on the up. Yeah. And this has been a Namibian problem for years and years and years. And uh, yeah, so let's just 
look at this quickly story. The newest victims in mm. terms of this rape story that the older miner is reporting is a two-year-old, a two-year-old that has been raped. Um, then also a four-year-old, both girls, um, that has been raped on the latest statistics. And also a 15-year-old boy. Yeah. So I don't know what is wrong with us. Namibians, how can this be tolerated and allowed in Namibia that we go and rape our two year olds, our four year olds, mm. and our 15 year old boys? What's wrong with you? No. What, what's the matter? I think it's just the last great, 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 Kom ons kyk terwyl ons nou uh, op die punt is, kom ons kyk ook so my gauw wat sy kommentare, uh, wie, wat sy kommentare het ons Ja, die kommentare kom vandag van ochend nogal baie goed in. Um, there are lots of comments coming through. Um, Joop says, Mietko was a company for boere, dear boere, farmers, ja. by, farmers, for farmers. Toe kom daar moes politiek, want dit raak toe wintschewend, toe raak dit a bols up, want daar moes, moet moes geld gedeeld word. Ok. Uh, en geld geleen is en toe weer gedeeld is. Ja. Serena van der Rijn sê, ons moet een kanaal op DSTV kry, ons is tops. Baie dankie, dankie, dankie Serena, dankie, that's Serena. very nice. Baie dankie. Jens Schneider, who will be joining us a little bit later on the show, is saying that it is a state-owned enterprise. Meet daar is het, daar ja. is het. Monika maar dan het die boere soveel meer recht om aan te dring op antwoorde ja. gegewe die huidige geldzake. Of, of die stand van zaken op ja. die stade. Dan uh, Monika Langenhoven van Kamp Vrede het ons ook gejoind. Goeiemorgen Monika, nice om julle te sien. Joep Nel sê, dit is krep, want petrol gaan af, want die taxis moet gelukkig gehoor word. Diesel bly <laughs> hoog, want wie gebruik dit? Transport, boere, bezigheidsmense, hulle gee elk geval ook 80% van die rest uh, uh, van government taxes. He's referring to it in terms of the petrol price as ja. thievery. Ja, 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 maar in elk geval is net duidelik. Ja. Net so kort voor voor die vakantie begin, nou sal daar weer, uh, sal die hoogte inskiet. Ja. En ek kan jou waarborg, het gaan meer wees as net 1, 1 dollar per liter. Ok, Perry Soden het het gegoogle, mm. hy sê, Meetco is a limited company, in other words, an LC. Ja. Is a general form of incorporation that limits the amount of liability undertaken by the company's shareholders. It refers to a legal structure that ensures that the liability of the company company's members or subscribers is limited to their stake in the company by way of investments or commitments and back for what the taken the powers to be as the frame would look for in a release and um, I think I can knock right this then again can the if the company is being mismanaged mm -hmm. right and like you said they've been given four months now yeah can the uh, top structures be held liable Wel, miskien dank nie vir die verliese nie, maar as daar aangedring word dat hulle, en daar is bewijse van wan bestuur, right. kan daar aangedring word dat hulle moet bedank, of dat daar well, nieuwe bestuur stel sal die ding, sit. Hulle het nou al die geld gekry, they got their directors fees, bonuses, huge salaries, and then they've mismanaged the company and they can just be let maar go. Is die, Should they not be put in jail? Maar dit is die probleem in baie gevallen met corruptie. Right. Is dat die oon stap dood en vorig weg daarvan. Exactly. Hoeveel van die sulkes wat wel skuldig bevind is, yeah. is al ooit toegesluit? What about the directors of, let's, let's take air number here. Ja, yeah. well, or even trans number. Yeah. That is red. Why, why are these people not prosecuted? Because they've been put into but positions, dit is die punt. they've ons, been paid for it, and they've balled it all up. Um, uh, Kofi, ons gaan die gesprek hier tot jy so grys is soos ek. <laughs> Want dit, nee, dit gaan nie. Jy het stront aan die jaar, dit klein smet, bedank ja. maar net. Ja, ja, ja. Nadat jy jou miljoen, ja, ja, miljoen ja, en, gekry het. En, en geniet die miljoen rand op die yes. eiland, <laughs> of die eiland wat jy gekoop het, ja. of die prachtige plaas wat jy bekom het. Ja. Gaan geniet het. Uh, ja, Rudy okay. de Waal sê, it's International Vodka Day, maybe that'll help. Dankie, Today. dankie. International Rudy. Vodka Day. Ja. Weet jy, um, ons, dit is toerisme, toerisme dinsdag. <coughs> en, uh, uh, en voordat ons, uh, ons nog een stukje nies, uh, onthou maar net, gauw, jylle kan altyd lekker saamgesels, ons gaan nou net so'n bykie nies vir jylle gee oor toerisme, kom ons uh, kyk eerst net hierna.
ons hee, gesels lekker saam met ons, um, baie, baie dankie vir die mannen wat in tussen tijd vir ons, en vrouwen wat in tussen tijd vir ons uh, somme brokjes nie stier, en saam gesels. Jep, ons het nog nieuws oor toerisme. Yes, we're talking about tourism today, the inserts in the NMH newspapers this morning, and here they are, they are saying that there is an increased tourist arrivals at Namibian airports. Yep. So yep, the total yep, yep. number of passengers arriving from other countries at Namibian airports rose to 78,642 during the second quarter of 2022 from 33,306 in the corresponding quarter of 2021. We had COVID, we all knew about that, but the numbers are on the increases. Here comes a bit of a problem. Remember all those car rental companies yep, in yep. COVID yep, that had all these car rental vehicles standing everywhere from Windhoek all the way to the airport. Mm, also in, in Wolfers Bay, we saw a lot of car rental cars standing there. And, and, the the and these the guys all had to sell their cars. No. No. Now, there's a shortage. I could, right. I could. So, um, yeah. Han, Han, uh, Gita, Gita, Gita Petzold Gita Petzold. Petzold. Yeah. Um, the Hospitality Association mm. has received reports of potential travelers who have to cancel or postpone their visits to Namibia due, due to a rental car shortages and Precies. limited availability of Precies. flights. That whole story with the airports Precies. that have to now... Yeah, the uh, upgrading, but this time the people are on the side of the side. Right. But the real problem is that there is not enough for the people who can here. Nie. Yes. But it looks like, because Gita has also said that Alhoewel die toerisme um, aan die toeneem is vir Namibia, is die hotelle, die gasthuise hotelle en so meer so besetting bykie laar, want baie meer van die mense verkies om karre te huur um, mm -hmm. en soort van hulle eie toer te doen en te gaan kamp. Ja. So dit is een situasie. Um, en dit is goed, dit is wonderlik. Maar aan die ander kant het die hotelle en die gasthuise en so meer sy bedbesetting is nog steeds nie wat het moet wees nie. So, daar is so, nog steeds bykie van een wanbalans wat, wat plaasvind. Ja. ja. Maar in elk geval, um, koos hoop dat die ouwens kan stadig maar seker weer die quota van motors aanvul en aankoop tussen die dier, dieruitgave en dat ons toerisme weer kan terugkry waar het behoort te wees. Ja. So, with that, also goes hand in hand to what the uh, Namibian is also reporting this morning. One of the headlines, and this is on page 7, it, uh, it says, let's protect Namibia's tourism industry. Mm -hmm. uh, industry. industry. Tourism contributed approximately 14.9% of Namibia's GDP and 15.4% of total employment in 2019. 15.4% mm -hmm. the tourism yeah. sector yeah, yeah. in yeah, yeah. the total yeah. employment yeah, yeah. of Namibia. It's fascinating. According to estimates by the World Travel and Tourism Council, the WTTC, more than one million travelers visited Namibia annually. Worryingly, many tourist destinations are experiencing an increase in crime, with some becoming hotspots or crime, crimogenic locations. Ja, wel, ons weet voor een tijd lang het zwak op munt erg dier yes. geloop. Voor al die mensen wat in die nacht gaan stap, of in die aand gaan stap, nee, in die nacht nie, in die aand gaan stap um, van een hotel of gasthuis af um, en het sommer bykie rondgeloop wat aangeval was, Dear Bendis, and was redelijk georganiseerd geweest. Mm -hmm. Dan in Windhoek voor een lang tijd het van hierdie um, rovers um, het dood die vorige mense gevolg van waar hulle die motors hier. Um, het dan hulle gevolg hulle weer aan die eerste ding is die ons moet geld trek en dan moet hulle proviant koop en in die voertuig laai right. voordat hulle die, uh, die stad verlaat. En dan is hulle voorgelee aan die buitenwijken. Mm -hmm. uh, op van die hoofdroutes is hulle dan afgetrek van die pad af en so type van een blokkade en dan is hulle beroof. So, dit is wonderlijke nieuws dat die politie sê kom ons doen meer om toerisme veiliger te maken. Nou ja, dit is altijd die een story um, en daar een vlammetje wat die groot vier aan die brand steek. Ja. Mens moet daarom sê als je naar die grootste presentatie kijkt van die toeristen wat wel die land bezoek, um, wat niet beroof is niet. Moet de mens dit per keer ook noem en uitleg, dat daar ja. baie plekke is wat, wat um, wel is waar baie veilig is. It's the 80-20 principle. Uh, you know, we're focusing 80% of that, what we're saying, onto 20%, which Correct. is the problem. So, ja. we mustn't forget that there are tourists out there that are having an absolute wonderful experience here in Namibia. So, if you are outside in the world, 
the Americas, the Europe's, um, the Australia's, New Zealand's, mm, mm, mm. anywhere for that matter. Come visit Namibia, it's truly a great destination. Ons gaan nog een beetje advertenties spelen. as ons terugkom, dan verwelkom ons vir Jens Iso, um, hy vir ons wonderlijke materiaal gebring, hy gaan vir ons meer vertel daarvan, en uh, maak seker dat jylle gesel saam stuur in uh, jylle uh, stikkies nies, brokkies nies, en uh, praat saam met ons hier op die bank. Ons is nou weer terug. FJ Logistics. We do road freight, mostly from our neighboring countries. We do air freight from all over the world. And we even do ocean freight for those not so easy cargoes. Most of all, we guarantee to always deliver on time. FJ Logistics. Give us a call today. Are you the type of person who cares more about product warranties? Did you know that you can get a mattress with warranties of up to 20 years? However, things like exceeding the weight limitation on a mattress can void your warranty. Get a peace of mind by getting the right mattress for your weight. Visit Oblivion Trading Enterprises at Unit 12 and 13, Edison Square Units, Edison Street, Southern Industrial. And welcome, Jens. We have Jens Schneider on the show. Thank yep. you very much for having me again. One yeah, of yeah, yeah bye, great bye, contributors bye, to bye, bye, Thank you so yeah, much yeah. for always bringing your side of the story well, to the story. <laughs> it's a really val valid platform here. Well, so, keep so, Jens. Thank you, Dr. Yeah. Yeah. Nee, but in court kennis giving, I know you've had a wonderful good experience the last few days. And we will be able to make a time to talk about this. Maar jouw bijdrage tot ons Conservation Tuesday is altijd wonderlijk vandaag. Vandaag is twee speciale bijdrages. Um, Salmon Vermaaksen, dat is episode 3 van zij reeks. Gaan we een beetje later spelen. Ja. Maar vertel ons beetje wat het jij vandaag voor ons gebracht. Ach, weet jij, Dirk, ik heb nou um, na al die aan, aanvraag en navraag van al die mensen, heb ik nog gedink, want het zit zo so bij goede materiaal wat nog niet gepubliceerd is. Nie. En dan okay. thought. Um, people always ask, so, so what, do, what do you guys really do and what, what's the concept behind the Conservation Film Foundation? Mm -hmm. I mean, we've been speaking about it here and we've been out in the field for a long time. Yeah. So I've just created a, a short little video about just a small cross-section of what we are doing, hopefully in, in view of you know, creating a whole series of that mm -hmm. in due time. You know, you were referring to the wonderful things that we have So uh, on, on Friday, you know, we have an outreach um, component of the Conservation Film Foundation where we go out into the communities and conservancies and assist them wherever we can yeah, yeah, with yeah. Um, the, big, the big focus on human wildlife conflict mitigation or avoidance and also mm -hmm providing alternative income mm -hmm. and we created at uh, the Otramboya Conservancy which is the, the smallest, um, one of the smallest conservancies in Namibia with about 350, 360 um, registered members and with the assistance of funding from the Environmental Investment Fund we then were able to really build uh, a great um, structure there with the little water that we have to produce food but that's and I'm also editing a small video yeah, that, like yeah. four or five minutes so yeah, that will yeah. explain the whole story yeah but coming back to today's video is just to mm -hmm. give the viewers we talk about wildlife um human wildlife conflict mm -hmm. we talk about you know providing really relevant um, inputs in conservation research there's so much research going on that we are we haven't even touched the the top tip of the iceberg yeah um, in terms of that so uns mut noch baie baie meer doen maar dit gee net vir, vir ons viewers op infrastream net 'n goeie sort of a broad um, cross section of the the material but mm. mm. I have a good work. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for the next week, or two weeks, I'm going to be with the other film crew, I'm going to go to Caprivi and there, in film months, the tagging, the first time in Namibia, the tagging of hippopotami. That's wow. That's very interesting. And crocodiles. And crocodiles. So, uh, and crocodiles. And crocodiles. So this, yeah, uh, yeah yes. it's like, snappy, snappy. exactly. Mm. Yeah. And uh, I really am, um, that's going to be so interesting so that, we, that we are able to track I think for the yeah. first time, yeah. Yeah. The, 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 the behavioral um, traveling of hippos and, mm. and crocodiles. Let's do it. Let's do it. Although, by me, I say, I sort of make a plaque and so a part of the whole family there by my car. I'm going to be a talk. 
En dit is eigenlijk logisch, but, but, afhangende van die hoeveelheid water. Wat they night weet. feeders, aren't they? They, ja, they come out of the water ja. at night and then I hear they can travel up to distances of 10, 15, 20 kilometers. Well, the, the thing is that's why they're doing it 100 kilometers. So in the nine night pans, that's right. the hippopotamus. And they want to really find out where do they come from? Do they come from the Mahango core? Yeah. Where do they come from? Botswana? Yeah. So that's, this is, we need, to, we need to find out if you want to conserve, conserve our biodiversity and our wildlife, mm -hmm. then we need to know what's happening. I mean, all these, these experts in the field, they, they are doing that job. Yeah. All we do is actually, we just document this incredible work. But you, this is just what you do, where it is possible to make that all our viewers, from here to South Africa, to the outside land, that we can do and we have to do what you do, but we have to learn um, from what you do. Mm. So, yeah. so the bewaring of the nature that is documented is, is for all time. Mm. And, and die, we, we use a lot more people to do this form as well as anything else. Well, I think so, and I think that this new medium in any case, we yeah. must our message out in terms of uh, the visual beeld. Yeah, yeah, Want, yeah. Um, we have not access to the academic journals and, 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 and all these scripts. No, for some yeah. It's usually behind a paywall, you know, and you just see the excerpt, which is fantastic, gives you good information already. But what the people in the work do, and with what they do, and with what they enthusiasm and commitment. As I mm. think on people like Dr. Philip Stander, who just learned, I mean, that's by him more, but he, yeah, in, in, yeah. in for all, he's, he's already 40 years busy with his work in, in, in nature bewaring, mm. just all the other, you know. And you, you see now the, the, the kinders van, van ou, uh, researchers en mm -hmm. yeah, bewaarders yeah. van oudtijds wat nou die werk oorvat en by die ministerie werk. Ek yeah. da, die ministerie van Environment, Forest and Tourism, hulle doen een fenomenale werk in hulle research en mm. dit verbaas mense altijd wat werkelijk daar achter die skerm yeah. staan. En dit is wat ons wil uitbeeld. Yeah. Dit is waar ons wil die Namibie, Namibiërs trots maak. Mm -hmm. And I think we, we, have, we have it to really put ourselves on the map internationally in con concerning research. Yeah. And in particular, the, the big thing is obviously environmental issues need to be addressed from a different point of view and need sure. to be informed. Sure. Mm. Mar human wildlife conflict um, mitigation and, and just the coexistence. We need to regenerate our exposure and our commitment and our, our just our gelling with nature. Yeah. And mm. That's the mm. big thing, what this mm. video will sort of give you yeah. a little bit of an insight of what we do. Can you tell us a message before we look at the video? Time, no, the latest comments that have come through was Rudy Deval. We've had no comments. If you've got any questions, uh, we'll be looking at the insert that Jens has, has, has brought uh, to us. So if we can have a look at that in the meantime, send us your questions. Um, that you have. Good. That's a negative at the moment, um, but that could potentially be in the in the valley in between these two copies. Oh, maybe. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down that wash that you went down. Okay. Copy. We'll update you uh, if we get visual. And what we're doing now is waiting for two lionesses who are in the Skeleton Coast National Park in this gravel plain section. So this is arid, semi-arid desert, just before it goes into a hyper-arid desert towards the coast. And to imagine uh, predators like leopard and lion and cheetah walking through here and still surviving is incredible. And it is accessible for tourists and tourism. Uh, no way else really that you'll find this happening, especially with lions as well. We've just got a call in from Dr. Flap Stander. Uh, we've, been we've been tracking for the past 48 hours. We've been tracking two lionesses and he gave us a call in. And then we're moving through to go and um, recall them, take some data that we need and then uh, put them with a, with a satellite caller because they have just been with uh, VHF callers for the past uh, couple of months. Push it for the food, it's up there, that's where it's going to sit. 
Pull it out. Still, so a little bit of play. Sits there. All good. All good. All good. West of that area, the elephant had um, from year 2008, there were 30-something elephants. Today we're talking about 21 elephants, including bulls that went out and bulls that came in, 21 individuals. From uh, year 2013, no one of a newborn has been managed to come through to survive. They're all dying naturally. Same. How incredible. Brilliant. That was absolutely Brilliant. incredible. Brilliant. Well done. Well done. Thank well you, Jens. Bye bye, Nandi. I think this, it was. I think this sums it up in yeah. such a nice yeah. way that, yeah. that um, first of all, mm. you, the viewer, you now know exactly what the Conservation mm. Film Foundation mm. does here in mm. Namibia and how they do it. So this is incredible. We can, of course, not wait for the hippo and the crocodile. Yeah, well, it's, it's commissioned, <laughs> so I don't, I don't know how much footage I can, I can bring out. Yeah. Yeah. Right, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, um, but at least we can talk about it. No, we can. <laughs> I'll probably take some video on the side, but... Of, of, yeah, photos. Um, so, this is wonderful. Bye bye, thank you that you did it with us. And uh, we have the platform, it was gestig, and you are welcome. Uh, we have from the beginning of the city, we have to go forward and to. We have done this dedicated yes. for our tourism, uh, for our education in conservation. Sure. Um, the same with the salmon, so by the way, we are now going to do it. We have to start for the day. Mooi loop, mooi loop en uh, ons uh, gesels binnenkort weer met mekaar. Ons gaan gauw een advertentiekie vat en dan uh, is ons terug met nog meer inlichting. Goed te start die eerst, dankie. Um, bye, thank you very much, and yet. That was fantastic. Yeah, this is rare, but this is quality. Come on, look at what they mean. Uh, Lazelle Kotsa says great uh, footage. So, yeah, that, that was incredible. Mm. So, we agree with you. That, that's the only comment that came through up to, up to this point. Uh, please, if you want to, because what Dirk said earlier on, uh, InfoStream is a pl platform that uh, promotes, first of all, individuals and also businesses, organizations. Mm, mm, we mm. want to make Namibia a better place through three things. Uh, the one is to uh, inform you. The other one is to educate you, also the, view uh, the mm. viewer, mm. and also to entertain you. And uh, you'd be doing us a massive favor if you were all to like and follow our page and obviously share our videos out there so that we can get the message across. Yeah, and even zeker, we say bye bye, thank you for all of you that in elk geval do. Yes. Um, ons het gepraat oor morgen, woensdag, woensdag, like my woord, ons sit van die dag, wat ons meer gaan bestee aan motors, um, en alles wat daarmee saam gaan. Ja. So, um, ek gaan gauw geweer hierdie speel, en as ons terugkom, dan kyk ons na ons volgende bijdrage. InfoStream Namibia takes you on a whole new journey, by car, motorcycle, or lorry. A journey of intrigue ideas from A to B, or even C and D. Motoring on InfoStream Namibia, a whole new world, a whole new journey. Keep your motor running, head on down the highway. InfoStream Namibia Motoring, everything you need to know about Namibia's motoring industry. Daar 
Fantastisch. Daar is het baie, baie dankie. Conservation Tuesdays. Ja, lekker, lekker. En gepraat van conservation, weet jy, daar is soveel inlichting. En daar is soveel mense wat ons mee gesels, of met wie ons gesels op die stadium, dat ek Dink, ons gaan een van die dag, dinsdag, gaan ons een twee ure sessie sien. Ja, because... Wat vir die ouwens praat saam en gesels saam. The content is just getting more and more and more, and obviously that'll give us more opportunity to bring that across to you. So, the Namibia Wildlife Protection Organization is an organization that does not only... Uh, is not only actively involved in anti-poaching, but it also does education Correct. in, in anti-poaching. And uh, Salmon for Mark, who we've been, who's a, a, a fantastic contributor to our show, um, we've been with him uh, recently. Um, he's talked to us more about how they do it at uh, Namibia Wildlife Protection, what they do. And they, in fact, have a series called Follow the Tracks. Yeah. Yeah. which we broadcast and stream to you on every Tuesday. This is going to be, I think, episode three. three. Episode this is now episode three. three. Yeah. Yes. And as you the first episode has missed, then go to YouTube toe, or on Facebook. Uh, YouTube, all the previous episodes is there. So as you go to YouTube, uh, go to YouTube, go to the datums, go to the episodes, you will see the first one. Hmm. So here is episode three. Wat beschikbaar gesteld is. Ik denk ons het nog jelle klompie om te gaan. Zo maak zeker dat jelle altijd dit volg. Zo ik denk kom eens kijk daarna. Good day and welcome to our new episode of Namibia Wildlife Protection Series, Follow the Tracks. And today we are following the tracks of the zebra. In Namibia we have two specific kinds of zebra. You get the plains zebra or the Birchels zebra and you get the Hartman zebra or the mountain zebra. Both zebras look alike to the untrained eye but if you look closely you will find that the Birchell zebra or the plains zebra has a ghost line inside the white area between the two black stripes. So you have the black stripe then in the white piece before the next black stripe there's a ghost line in it. The other feature of the virtual zebra is that the stripes do not go down to the hoofs, where it's totally different with the mountain zebra, the, the Hartman zebra. Hartman zebras, they have very well defined black and white stripes and their stripes goes down to the hoofs. The tracks of the zebra compare to a horse, although it's much smaller, but it looks exactly the same, the typical one uh, toe type of hoof. And the tracks between the mountain and the virtual or the plain zebra is more or less identical. It's very difficult to distinguish between the two. Zebras love to dust bath, and you will often find the telltales of these dust baths in the field. Male zebras uh, are used to fighting each other, obviously, especially during mating periods and mating seasons. Um, and therefore, the male zebra, if you look at the skull of a male zebra, it has huge tashers, which is specialized canines for biting each other, while the females do not have really big teeth. It's more peg-like, small little teeth that they have because they don't use it to bite each other or to fight each other. Zebras are herd animals and they travel in big family groups and you can often see them with, uh, with blue wildebeest. They love to, to graze with the blue wildebeest and I believe it is because the blue wildebeest give them a, an extra advantage on their eyes and their smell and their ears to warn them of predators in the area. Thank you for watching this episode with us. Stay tuned. For our next episode uh, on Namibian wildlife, and we are following the tracks of various animals that commonly occur here in Namibia. Namibia Wildlife Protection is an anti poaching company. We specialize in the protection of farms, livestock, and game, and especially the white and the black rhinos here in Namibia. We also make use of international volunteers to assist us in our goal to protect these precious animals. Please feel free to contact us should you wish to become part of our volunteer program. Daar zijn. Oh, there we have it. Now ek, we know everything about zebras. Ik geniet het. Ik hey? geniet het er erg van. Want is, wat, yes. wat, wat, wat baie goed gedoen is, um, is die feit dat het is baie kort is. Yes. Um, daar is een klomp inlichting in. Genoeg, genoeg om jou geïnteresseerd te maak. En uh, ons moet bykie uitvind of, uh, 
of someone for Mark Dock um, in his status. But I get ears dogs is that we are a cursus. Um, you must go and op on the web of op the Facebook. Yeah. Uh, of the telephone numbers. Die van jullie wat belangstel. Dus volunteers cursus. Ik denk is die 21ste november is dit correct? Yes, it's, uh, the, and it's also the last one for the year. For the year. So after that one the planning is going to go for next year, but the 21st of November mm -hmm. is going to be the, the last course. Koos kyk of, of um, as, as Salmon daak beskikbaar is uh, volgende week dinsdag, ja. net van een gauw uh, gesels, want wie wat, uh, wat is ook belangrijk? Um, dus wonderlijk, ik denk sy aanbiedingstijl is baie goed, baie gemakkelijk, maar ook die ons achter die camera's. Right. Um, jy weet, ek, as ek het nie mis het nie, het, het kaal het het geskiet, mm -hmm. maar het sal altyd lekker wees om daai ouwense ervaring ook, want dit is net soveel deel van hulle, hulle, hulle is die cameraman, hulle is die ouwens wat, wat, wat die oog het, jy weet, yes. om alles by mekaar te sit. Um, dit is maar net soos, as ons nie hierdie wonderlijke camera gehad het nie, was ek en jy ook maar val. Ja. I know, we, 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 we would be only hearing us and not seeing these wonderful bodies. Die wonderlijke lewe. Yes, kom, kom, kijk, wat is hier? Die sode net die so'n boodskap gestuur of een post gedoen, hy sê, dit is awesome, hy verwees nou na Jens. Ja. Hy sê, my probleem is dat die wilde dier al vir lang hulle plek het en hulle routes doen, soos olifante wat sekere routes doen al vir eeuwe. En nou kom die mens in hulle gebied en nou is het die probleem diere. Ja, you see Perry, we've spoken to a number of people regarding wildlife human conflict. And it is the fact that just like animals roam the planet, human beings do that too. We've had that in cases of nomads traveling from greener pastures to other greener pastures and use that one up and then move to other greener pastures. Mm. The only problem that we have on the current situation is that we are nine billion people on the planet. Mm. Mm. And the, 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 uh, uh, I think planet Earth doesn't know what to do with so many humans. Can, can when I was born in 1969, yeah. Dirk, we were three billion people. Mm. We are now nine billion. Dit is baie hard, want ek sit hier en eeuwenskele kry ek hoendervleis net om te dink, net om te dink aan Namibie sonder die wilde lewe. Yes. Of ja, maak nie die saak wat er ons van praat. Exactly. Vir my, dit is ondenkbaar. Nou, en weet jy, Mark Paxton het so'n tykie gelede op ons, en hy het een bijdrag gelever op die specifieke dinsdag, en hy het gepraat oor die woude daar in die Kapriwi, in die Kawangu, en die bome wat afgekap word. Dit is net, daar is geen beplanning nie, daar is dit word net dood en vorig, die woude word verwoes. En die der duisende voels wat al hoe minder word, en dan van die voelspecies wat nou jyltemal verdwijnt. Yes. So, tweede ding waar Horus toe des het gepraat het, was die visvang, wat nie meer gereguleerd word nie. En ons praat eens van die kus nie. Dit het ons nou al gesien. Daar is een hengse sage weer tussen groot vismaatskapie, wat thans op die voorblad is ook van die korant. Ja. Viskotas, wat dood eenvoudig nie nagekom word nie en vis wat uitgeroei word. So denk net aan die wildlewe en hoe dit stelselmatig uitgeroei word. Wat dan? We've got a question here also from Gary Stein. Gary has been on our show as before also and he's from Cape Town. He's currently in Cape Town. Gary Stein asks, does Namibia lead the way in free roaming wildlife in Southern Africa? Ek denk hier nie aan. No, in Southern Africa, Kenya. Well, you always say that, but I don't know if you're going to say that. Do we lead the way in free roaming animals? I think that's so. Look, a man's not in South Africa. You know, we have a part of our country, Botswana, the environment, they do a lot of work. You know, so, and from the dieren, trek tussen Botswana en en Namibië vooral daar in die wat die grote park ja 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 zo die kouden kouden maar even die olifanten wat weer komt zo'n tijd van die andere wereld ja zo dat is een baie goeie vraag it's a it's a it's a very good question this because I we are not sure Gary but if we were to just consider the entire Namib desert 
and the animals that live in mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. entire desert region, I could almost think that Namibia has a very good chance of being the leader in Southern Africa when it comes oh, free, to free, free roaming, roaming animals. Free roaming. But yeah. I, we don't know. No. So maybe if yeah. somebody out there um, knows about it more, wants to Google it, or can let us know, please. Yeah, please let, wait for us. let wait for us. Ah, Coast Reed, yeah. Reed is actually. Reynard Reed is actually. Reynard Reed is. And Reynard is our wildlife expert, also a contributor. He says, no, Botswana is the leader in free roaming wildlife in Southern Africa. Well, there we have it. Mm. So um, thank you. Thank you for that, Reynard. Um, that's good info to have. Yeah, I agree that. that um, Die Botswana, die parkeraad bijvoorbeeld bij hulle, ja. hulle is baie streng met hulle reels en regulaties. Uh, maar ek weet, hulle het ook vir een tijd lang, het hulle baie probleme gehad met olifanten wat gevrek het. Right. En hulle kon nie precies uitvind wat die rede daarvoor was nie. Maar hulle het nie, hulle het nie gehuiver om internationale navorsers te kry om te sê, kom ons soek die probleem. Right. Ons los het right. die net nie. Ons, ons moet een antwoord krijgen daarvoor. Maar nou ja, daar het ons dit. Uh, Koos, kijk gewoon net nog een advertentie. Jullie kan mm -hmm. nog, uh, nog steeds samen zelfs, dan is ons nou terug bij jullie. Vintage Bar and Grill. Your friendly neighborhood bar, where the food is always great and very affordable, and the drinks are always cold. We promise a good time between nightly DJ music, karaoke, live music on weekends, and even pub games. We have fantastic fry facilities, ample seating, and more than enough secure parking. So pop in at Vintage Bar and Grill at Jerk Sky Park in Olympia. Vintage Bar and Grill. Always a good time. Good. Yes. Lekker. Vintage Pub and Grill. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should o go always, there to my friend course and have a hamburger. Oh, always good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Got divine cheeseburgers at Vintage. Maar dat is altijd lekker. Van een goede aardrag gemaakt. Um, yes, so, so dit is ons dinsdag volgeprop geweest. Yes. Gelaai, want dan nou morgen begin ons met ons motorzaken. Ja. Yep. Jullie is baie Onze. welkom voor die van jullie wat kijken of allemaal wat wil een bijdrage wil lever. If you have a business that is particularly in the motoring business, yeah. uh, doesn't matter what motoring it is, uh, tires, exhausts, selling cars, selling second-hand cars, if you're an expert in panel beating, uh, whatever it is, mm, mm. Um, and you would like to promote your business, just give us a call. Yeah. And that is why we are here, because we are here to help you grow your business. Ja, het gaan lekker wees. Um, dan weet ons altijd woensdag tussen haar klomp en ja. achter kost. Kijk, uh, wat, wie kan ons kry morgen? And maybe we can even talk to some Formula One enthusiasts. Daar ding moet ons begin. Ja, because Daar I know, ja, Liesel van Seil, um, Andre's wife, she, ja. she's crazy about Formula One. And maybe we can get her in on the show because kan, she knows all the statistics. She knows everything. Maar kan jij nou denk als we een vrouw krijgen, wat bieke Formule 1 kom gesels, hoe lekker dit sal wees. Yes, yes. Dit is nog een ding waar oor ek en Kavi gepraat het die afgelopen tijd. En dit is as jy een passie het. Soos ons weet nou bijvoorbeeld, Jens hulle met, met uh, die film maak en die wonderlijke werk wat hulle doen. En hulle word nou uitgenooi, die navorsers, om uh, vir hulle werk films te gaan maak, ongelooflik. Uh, ons weet wij aan het is uh, hij geniet uh, die die in zijn passie voor die wild leven. Mm. Uh, ons het voor Salmon uh, en Salmon het voor ons die reeks aangebied. Uh, ons is is baie baie wonderlijk en ons gebruikt dit en ons geniet dit. Um, en dan is daar mensen zoals Mark Baxter, dan is mensen mm. zoals Jacob Miller, en zo meer. Ja. Wat samengesels? Nou als jij een passie voor iets hebt, zoals wat Kofi nou zei. Dat had ons vir Terry met koosmaak, dat had ons vir Niek diener met koosmaak, chefs. Dan zal ons vir jou plek maken op die bank. En dan word jy meer de aanbieder. Met andere woorden, jy deel jou passie en inlichting. Want Infostream staan vir? Education. Information. Entertainment. Ja, and information. information. <laughs> okay, oh, by the way, we've got somebody very interesting on the show who's ja. just joined us. Uh, Frank Bokmuel. Ja, uh, kan dit die gloe? Ja, morgen Frank, morgen van Frank. warm in Nana. Ja. Uh, uh, Frank, you now joined the show, but we are basically on the end of it. So once the show is finished streaming, it lies on our Facebook page, and then you can watch it right from the beginning again. Kijk, ek, um, ek, het, you know? ek, ek wil vir Frank, ek wens dat ek kan vir Frank hier kry. Ja. Maar as daar nou een kenner is van die bos, van die veld, van die natuur, ja. as daar een kenner is wat verstaan as gras spruit opkom, maar as nog nie wolken nie, lucht uh -huh. nie, wat gebeurt? Dan is het Frank Bokmeel. Baie, baie welkom. Ik is blij jij kijkt. Ik um, hoop jij volg ons en stier voor ons jouw inlichting en gaan kijken gerust. 
uh, verlede week mm -hmm. het ek een foto van hom, van hom gesien. Ja. Toe sê hy, hierdie is my blijplek vir om om by die volgende twee weke. Oké. Okay. Dit was een tent, right. onder die bome, grondseil, kampstoel, okay. tafelkie, ja. en uh, toe weet ek, Frank is in sy element. Um, hy is uit de baard omtrent so lang soos my. Yeah. Hy het net baie meer kennis oor die natuur is wat ek kan dink om te hee. And of course, what we also strive to do is come and visit you in your town. Ja, yeah, ja, yeah, ja. Yeah, Because yeah. Uh, Mario de Toy, hy is nou ook nie so by ons op die show. Hallo Mario, welkom. En hy sê, kom Kavango toe, manne. Now wouldn't yep. that be fantastic if we could just spend a week in the Kavango. Well, ons moet net stream directly from there. Kijk, uh, <laughs> kijk af die, die Kavango gedeelte. Um, en dan natuurlijk boon toe um, uh, die Caprivi. Yes. Die Kavango uh, uh, het een geschiedenis van sy eie. En, en mense onderskat het. Maar, maar dit is een complexe biodiversiteit. Yes. En, en uh, samen zijn van mens, uh, omgeving, dier en, en, um, en die landelijke gemeenschap wat moet oorleef. Maar het is complex en meer is een opzicht. Ja. So, een mens kan daar letterlijk, uh, jij praat van een week, een week is eigenlijk te min, als een mens begin uitsendings doen. Yes. Um, jullie kan ons nader, maak dit zeker, of vind dit voor ons uit, of jullie genoeg, of ons toegang het tot wifi. Ja. Yeah. Dit is ons grootste. What is, the, what is important is in whatever area you are, town, farm, uh, lodge, uh, just in terms of the internet speed. Yeah. But we could come to your organization, your business, um, and, and do a production by all means. Um, but that, that, that we would then need to stream in hindsight. But everything is possible. Uh, contact us on infostreamnamibia at gmail.com. Mm. Or alternatively, just call us on the number that is on right. the screen below, right. uh, which is plus 264-81432-8233. And uh, let us know as to how we can help you. Een baie dankie, ons WhatsApp nummer, dedicate dit voor, een baie dankie, ek het uh, kry inlichting. Um, uh, Karikie sê, ons het die, die nieuws gekry van Riek, um, ja. ons het het gister gehad, Riek Pretorius en so meer, so, so ons lees dit, Wijnand Riet, baie dankie, ek het ook jou foto gekry, um, dit, uh, hy sê net hier so, hmm. dit kost niks om iemand te verwijs, as jy een klein bezigheid het, um, en jy het klein bykie publiciteit nodig. Sure. Uh, en, en baie dankie daar vir ons het het gekry, uh, Wijnand Riet en allemaal. En selfs Peri Soudin, alhoewel hy matrasse verkoop, en elkeen het een goeie matras nodig, hy het een passie vir motorfietse. Ja. So, uh, we could get Peri on the show. Misschien, misschien kan ons gauw, kost kos, kos, kos kyk, want ons morgen een of twee gasten kan kry, dat is net soort van, uh, daarom net die, ek wil amper sê, net ja. die ijslaag hier breek vir ons eerste woensdag, wat ja. ons gesels oor enig iets wat met moeders te doen het. Selfs grasneers. Dink ja. ek. <laughs> nee, ja. dink ek. Of hy dames handvatsels kan. Na die machine enig iets wat ek net een moeder het. En dan werk het vir my. Goed, kom kyk na die weer. Ons ja. tijd is alper klaar. Ons kyk na die weer vir morgen. The weather uh, for tomorrow. The interior partly cloudy and hot to very hot in the northeast. Elsewhere sunny and hot to very hot but warm to hot in the Karas region. Coast as always partly cloudy and mild with fog patches tomorrow morning. Then uh, tomorrow's uh, temperatures, minimum and maximums, winter 20 and 34, Sagamon 10 and 18, Wolfers Bay 11 and 20, Karasburg 9 and 27 with Ketmanshoop 10 and 30. Mm -hmm. Then we're moving up a little bit more north, Marintal 13, 35, and then Riobot at 20 and 34, uh, Ochivarongo, kom ons kyk wat gebeur in Ochivarongo, ons het Wat jy verongo, 18 en 36. <laughs> en dan Oshakati, 20, 38. Um, Okongo, 18 en 37. En dan in die ooste, uh, met ons verbuitenpost, 20 en 37. Met Gobabes, 20 en 37. Ja, 37 is, is warm. Um, uh, wat sê is Windhoek? Ek het ook nou gemis. Windhoek, 20 en 34. 34, ja. Oké, okay, dan is het 37, as het hier ja. dan 40 toe begin gaan. Average temperatures at the moment uh, in Windhoek 28 degrees Celsius and it could get a little warmer here by 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. Nee, verseker, verseker. Het is interessant, want het is alsof uh, 2, 3 uur nie meer altijd die warmste is. Yes. Dit is net baie, baie, die dooie hitte. Um, ek kyk nou weer uit die bij ons venster en daar is nie, daar is nie een blaarkie wat roer nie. So, ons het op die stadium in Windhoek die dooie, dooie, Doei uit. En uh, Joep Nel het vir Peri Soudin gevra of hy ook kampmatrasse verkoop en hy soen, hy sê ek doen, um, bel my. 
So there you go, Joep Nel, jy krij jou kampmatras daar by Peri, by Oblivion ja. Enterprises. En weet, weet jy natuurlijk die ander ding is, ons moet nie vergeet dat ons, ons motoring Wednesdays yes. kan ons oor kampzake ook gesels. Hmm. Want ons het in ons uh, uh, promokie, uh, miskien moet ons net vir ons kobaasie weer speel, enige iets wat dit doen het met, met, met kamp, met buitenlewe, uh, uh, dis nie net, uh, net motorkarre nie. Yes. Jy weet, um, is natuurlijk van waarde, kost kyk gauw, sommer net terwijl ons nog een seconde het, kost kyk gauw daarna. Infostream nummer 1 takes you on a whole new journey, by car, motorcycle, or lorry. A journey of intrigue ideas from A to B, or even C and D. Motoring on Infostream Namibia, a whole new world, a whole new journey. Keep your motor running, head on down the highway. Infostream Namibia Motoring, everything you need to know about Namibia's motoring industry. Hazen, so, as you will sell yourselves more, you will say for us, bye bye, welcome. And that brings us to the end of yep. our show. You've yep. been a wonderful crowd, thank you very much. Big round of applause to yep. all your comments. And... Uh, We'll see you again tomorrow. Morgen ochtend, uh, so geniet die rest van die dag, wees rustig. Cheerio. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, we're on YouTube, we're on Facebook, and you can also WhatsApp us. Please do us a favor and like this video, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click on the bell icon, so you can get an update when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for now. Hope to see you next time.